Lots to talk about with the Bears, but Amy Wells, one thing passed on Tuesday, and that was the trade deadline. Absolutely so. No better person to ask about it than Titans general manager John Robinson. John, you traded for Desmond King. Why is he a good fit for the Tennessee Titans? I mean, he was a player that, that we liked out of Iowa when he was coming out in the draft, you know, played for Coach Ferentz there, a good football program. Was off to a successful start with his uh, pro career there in, uh, with the Chargers. Productive player, mostly in there at slot corner and a kick returner and punt returner. He's an instinctive player. He's got good awareness and coverage. He's an aggressive player. He's tough. He can blitz. So it just felt like he was a player that we could utilize his skill set for us defensively and also in the return game. We look forward to seeing Desmond King as a Titan, and we look forward to seeing the Titans take on the Bears. And so as we dive into your regular part of this segment, the Farm Bureau Insurance Scouting Report, let's talk about a Bears team that you haven't seen since 2016, your first year as general manager when the Titans won at Chicago 27 to 21. The Bears don't have one player on their roster today who handled the ball in that game four years ago. So not only is it an unfamiliar opponent, it's a team that's totally turned over. How tough is it to prepare for a team like that? Yeah, anytime, you know, that, you know, you're on that cycle when you're playing teams in the NFC that you see, you know, once every four years or so, you're having to learn their personnel. Uh, we did play them in the preseason last year, but I would say most of the players that we're going to face probably didn't play in that game at that point in the season. It's a challenge. You know, there's going to be a lot of film study by our coaches, certainly by our players and our scouting staff, trying to get the scouting report together, the game plan together, you know, as we prepare for these guys. When you think about the 5-3 and three Chicago Bears, you think about defense. What is it about their defense that impresses you? Uh, the personnel, the scheme's really good, but the personnel is outstanding. You know, they really got playmakers at, at all levels of the defense up front with, you know, Hicks on the inside, Robert Quinn, who they added in free agency on the edge, and then Khalil Mack, who's one of the best, if not the best, edge players in the game. Two really good linebackers with speed and, and instincts and Trevathan and uh, Roquan Smith. And then in the secondary, Eddie Jackson is one of the top safeties in the league. Fuller is an outstanding player at corner. And the rookies making some plays, Jalen Johnson out of Utah for him on the, at, the, at the other corner. The Bears are quarterbacked by Nick Foles at this point in the season. He started against you last November when he was playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Does that help you prepare for Nick Foles? Yeah, I mean, I think you can you can look at the skill set and what his phys physical attributes are. As a player, obviously, it's a different system. It's a different offensive scheme. He's a taller player. He's a really good athlete for a taller player. He's got a good arm. And most importantly, he's won a lot of football games. He's found ways to make plays in crunch time, in crucial situations, in big games. So, you know, having the familiarity with his physical skill set, but knowing out of the moxie that he possesses. It's at least it's something good to kind of have in, a, in our back pocket. What do the Bears like to do on offense? Yeah, they're, they're pretty multiple. You know, Coach Nagy coming from uh, Coach Reed's system there in, in, in Kansas City. They do a lot of stuff, a lot of motion, get the ball in, in their playmakers' hands, obviously. You know, they got a pretty pretty unique tandem at running back, Montgomery, out of Iowa State. He's a tough guy to tackle. Porter o. Patterson plays back there some, give him the ball. He's good with the ball in his hands. Allen Robinson's a premium receiver. Miller, who played at Memphis, is a really good catch and run player. They got two speedsters in the rookie Mooney and, and Ted Ginn. And then everybody knows about Jimmy Graham, who is a perennial all pro player at tight end. So they got a lot of weapons. They do a lot of stuff uh, offensively to try to keep you on your heels. John, special teams obviously a concern because of two words that you just said a moment ago, and that is Cordero Patterson. I mean, he's an impact player in, in the return game. And, you know, I think the one thing is certainly his physical skill set with his speed, his make miss ability, but the confidence that he has. I mean, he'll bring it out eight, nine yards deep in the end zone because he's confident in his skill set. He's a tough guy to tackle. He gets to he gets to full speed really quickly, sees the field really well. He's instinctive with the ball in his hands. So we'll have to do a good job trying to contain him. For the Tennessee Titans, what will they have to do well to beat the Bears on Sunday? Just like we talked about the kicking game, we got to do a really good job, you know, handling handling Patterson. We got to be good execution on our operation with our punts and our kicks. You know, offensively, we got to stick on these guys up front. You know, they, they've got a really good front seven. We got to stay on our blocks. Derek's got to get downhill. We got to take care of the football. Got to be physical with the with this secondary and the and these linebackers because they like to play a physical game. So we got to match that. And then defensively, for us, we got to handle handle all the multiples that they throw at you. Got to get pressure on Foles. We've got to get off the field on third down. We say it every week, but that's important for us this week to get off the field on third down, get the ball back to our offense.